The objective is to determine the location of a short circuit in a power system, identify any failures in the protective relaying, and create sketch during the overlapping of primary protective zones and the exact locations of the faults. 1. Where was the short circuit? We need to look at the breakers that tripped in each case to determine the location of the short circuit. For example, in case there, uh, breakers 4, 5 and 8 tripped. Looking at the 1 minus line diagram, we can see that these breakers are located in the transmission lines between buses 3 and 4 and buses 4 and 5. Therefore, the short circuit must have occurred in one of these transmission lines. 2. Was there any failure of the protective relaying, including breakers, and if so, what failed? To answer this question, we need to look at the protective zones of the relays and determine if they overlap properly to protect the transmission lines. In case so, the protective zones of the relays are buses 3, 4 and 5 should overlap to protect the transmission lines between these buses. If the relays and breakers are functioning properly, then a tripping of breakers 4, 5 and 8 indicates that the protective relaying worked correctly. 3. Draw a sketch showing the overlapping of primary protective zones and the exact locations of the various faults. We can draw a sketch to show the protective zones and the location of the fault in Keso. The sketch should show the protective zones of the relays at buses 3, 4 and 5 overlapping to protect the transmission lines between these buses. The fault location should be shown in one of these transmission lines. 